Dear viewers, immigration rules are frequently changing which is very important for migrant community and all of us. Why won't the world tackle the refugee crisis? Are the high court judges under pressure by government policy? How deporting people silently? Why immigration detention center misbehaves with detainees? Is the immigration enforcement used by government lawfully? How immigrants are victim of domestic violence? What will be the UK relationship with the European Union after Brexit? Fear spreads. Protests across the world. We should know the reality. I try to collect all the latest immigration news regularly. If you like this video please stay with us to follow my Facebook page and YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comments, subscribe and share with your friends. Let's go to the news. Theresa May's poisonous propaganda about immigrants fuels violent hate crime, says Tim Farron. Tim Farron has accused Theresa May of peddling poisonous propaganda about immigrants that leads directly to hate crimes, as he condemned the Prime Minister's focus on limiting the number of people entering Britain from overseas. Illegal worker arrested during raid on Norwich Fried Chicken Restaurant Wolf and Baird. An illegal worker has been arrested following an immigration raid on a newly opened fried chicken restaurant in Norwich. Immigration officers visited Wolf and Bird, on Exchange Street, on Friday evening as part of an intelligence-led operation. A 31-year-old man from Mauritius was arrested shortly before 7 p.m. He was found to have no right to work in the UK and no leave to remain in the UK. On Friday I joined other stand-up to racism campaigners at the launch of UKIP selection campaign. This followed Paul Nuttall's announcement that, among the rest of their anti-migrant and Islamophobic agenda, UKIP would campaign to ban the burqa. This call has nothing to do with defending women's rights. It has everything to do with UKIP demonizing the Muslim community, just like in France last year when politicians campaigned to ban the burqini. Why should anyone have the right to tell Muslim women what to wear? You keep and their kind are constantly targeting people who just want to get on with their lives. It shows the nature of their party, it shows their racism. Britain's net migration figure is surprisingly dodgy. One of the hottest numbers in British politics is based on a tourism survey that began in the 1960s. Theresa May's strict immigration rules are keeping the numbers down, by driving British citizens out. Net migration figures are down by 49,000, but 54,000 extra British citizens chose to leave the UK. Is the Prime Minister really getting it right on migration? In order to win public confidence on immigration, the Conservative-led coalition government, under the then Home Secretary Theresa May, imposed a new requirement that anyone wanting to bring a spouse and any children to the UK needed to earn a minimum of £18,600 a year. The policy was designed to ensure that family members brought to the UK did not become a burden on taxpayers, labeling their partner a sponsor who would, by their own earnings, pay for any benefits they qualified for. UK should alter immigration rhetoric. NGO says the debate should be more positive and go beyond the economic argument. The forthcoming general election offers British politicians and the media an opportunity to change the rhetoric around immigration and migrants, said the head of an NGO working on migrants. 
While official figures have shown a rise in hate crime in the immediate aftermath of last year's Brexit vote, anecdotal evidence suggests this has continued, triggering wider concerns and fears within black and minority ethnic communities, even those who have lived in Britain for generations. A costly and incoherent stance on UK migration. Theresa May's hardline approach is incompatible with an open economy. Theresa May's refusal to remove foreign students from immigration figures damaging UK's world-class universities. MPs call for overseas students to be recorded under separate classification and not counted against overall migration limit. Barclays boss is right on immigration, Britain must remain open to incomers. It might not be palatable hearing it from the wealthy CEO of a big bank, but it doesn't change the fact that we will all be poorer if we don't heed Staley on the subject. Uncertainty over EU immigration, research could damage UK he, MPs say. The UK government needs to reduce uncertainty for EU students and staff in higher education, have contingency plans in place for EU research funding and take international students out of net migration figures, according to a report from the House of Commons Education Select Committee. MPs vow to fight on as Theresa May refuses to remove overseas students from immigration figures. Labour has accused the Prime Minister of stamping out dissent within the Tory ranks. New museum shows migration is everyone's story. From this week London gets a new migration museum. It's starting out in a temporary home but the hope is that within a couple of years it will move to a permanent base. The director is a former immigration judge who says almost all of us have a migration story somewhere in our family background. UK puts off EU nationals from applying for residency, North Korea live fire drill, robot farm workers. Britain's Home Office issues guidance to avert flood of applications after Article 50. Trump administration's hardline immigration stance in Supreme Court case could see Melania Trump deported. Any material error on the form is enough to see an entire citizenship application refused, according to a Justice Department lawyer. Labour backs the independence campaign to drop illogical, unworkable immigration target. Theresa May's determination to stick to the tens of thousands figure is leaving her isolated in her own cabinet. Scottish curry chefs warn over impact of immigration curbs. Indian restaurants are closing in Scotland because strict immigration curbs mean it is difficult to recruit top chefs from the Indian subcontinent, it has been claimed. World's hottest felon Jeremy Meeks banned from entering the UK. Jeremy Meeks, once dubbed the hottest criminal in the world, has been prevented from entering the UK. Barclays Staley, immigration policy is top worry for city post Brexit. Mr Staley said that limiting talent via strict immigration rules would have a longer term impact on the banking sector than losing passporting rights. Pretamanger tries to woo British workers as Brexit looms. Sandwich chain has begun advertising in job centers and on social media as it faces up to potential staff shortage. UK to take 130 more lone refugee children in Dobbs scheme climbed down. Peer criticizes shocking mistake as ministers say administrative error meant they underestimated available places. 
a protest in Westminster after the number of child refugees to be accepted under the Dobbs scheme was limited at 350. Labour leadership agrees truce on immigration policy. Senior figures including Jeremy Corbyn and Diane Abbott agree free movement of Labour will have to end with Brexit. Labour's leadership has reached a truce over the party's immigration policy ahead of the election, with an agreement that free movement of Labour across the EU will have to end at the point of Brexit. Two-tier refugee system leaves many destitute and homeless, say MPs. Cross-party group report finds support differs for refugees who come to UK via asylum route rather than resettlement. A costly two-tier system of providing protection for refugees in Britain has developed, leaving many at risk of homelessness and destitution, according to a report from the cross-party group of MPs. Refugee guests are given hands-on experience of a shepherd's work. Ribblehead, Yorkshire Dales willing helpers hold the weak old lambs until Rodney is ready to dock their tails. Refugees and asylum seekers from St Augustine's Centre in Halifax with the young lambs they have helped track down in the Dale. The four questions to ask any politician waffling on about immigration. 1. What's the point of a migration target? 2. How and when will you end free movement? 3. Will we still have a system that gives priority to other Europeans? 4. What do you actually mean by reducing low-skilled migration? Thank you for stay with me. See you in the next video.